Are you looking for a new football news app? I've already told you for the last two months that I'm looking for a football news app. Why are you still asking me this question? Then make sure to check out One Football down in the description below for all of your football news, transfers, and rumors. Whether you're a Liverpool fan, a Barcelona fan, or even an Alfreton Town fan, it has them on it as well. Just get it downloaded. Now, in the past, we've done a lot in terms of going into the future on FIFA career mode. Every single year, I do a mini-series where we go 5, 10, 15 years into the future. But what if we went into the past? Niran, what are you even on about? It's You know it's literally impossible to go back in time. You're literally chatting honk. What? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not chatting any honk. We have gone 10 years into the past. The year is 2008 on FIFA. FIFA 19 career mode. Uh, that is in itself a paradoxical sentence. On the advanced section here, it's July 2008. If we go over to the calendar, you'll see it's 2008. 2019 is in the past. What is going... Um, there's games. Why oh, no, what have we done here? I didn't even notice this. All the usual scheduled games are here. We're not there. We are... Uh, I'm perplexed, mate. I don't quite know what's going on here. We're in 2008. But if I, if I look at 2008, we've not got a single game. So I don't know how that's going to work. We're going to explore. We're going to see what actually happens in the world. We've, just, we've got, still got the league table. It's not got the teams, obviously, from two. 2008 that would be a stretch i wish it did but ever obviously it's not gonna that would make no sense so most of the players that were on fifa in 2008 are probably retired by now now if you go on to enjoy the video slap a like on this one and subscribe if you are new to the channel it's the big red button under the video and it massively helps me out we though are gonna get into proceedings i just want to put out a disclaimer this is gonna be a car crash so first of all how does it change Change the squad. Oh, it actually changes the ages as well. Burn Leno 16. He's an exciting prospect. Matt Macy is out on loan at Plymouth. You're 13, mate. You, at the end of the day, you're 13. I feel like he just is a little bit too young, really, to be out on loan. I love how Petr Cech is still 26. He's retiring as well. He's retiring at the age of 26. Hector Bellerin is 13. It's actually changed all the ages. Flipping Zach Medley is seven. Are you mental, mate? Kunduzi's nine. Ah, oh, Bukayo Saka six. Bukayo Saka is six years old. Five foot ten at six. Flipping hell. I feel sorry for his mum because if you're five foot ten at six, you're at least five foot two when you were born. So it's not affected who's retiring and who's not because Better Check's still had enough, even though he's only 26. Also, why is is it deadline day on the 1st of July? That's never been a thing. There's no transfer windows as well. Oh, January's got its normal, but the flipping, the summer transfer windows just disappeared. Okay, then. I'm not being funny, but if we scout players, they're gonna be older than the players we've actually got in the senior side. Having said that, I wonder if they're really young as well. Do you think they'll just become stupidly young because we're 10 years in the past? Technically, their birth dates would be 10. I'm gonna test that out. I wanna see if I can get a five-year-old player in my youth academy. The Europa League's still happening. That's Fair enough. All right, good. I'm um, glad to hear that one. The draw's normal. It's just that the games are happening in 11 years from now. I love how the news still says 2018. We're not in 2018 anymore, okay? okay. News flash, all right? What is... No. How... Why is the end of the season on July the 2nd? We've only had one day. I was about to sim forward. Okay, good. <laughs> We've come to the end of the season and the board could not be happier with your performance so far. I've been in the job one day. What could I have possibly achieved in 24 hours that allows you to let me go forward into a second season of management? <laughs> well, all right, well, there we go. The UEFA Europa League group stage draw is looking very suspect indeed. We've we've made it into season two. I, I don't know what that means. It's the same day. It's been it's been two days. Mike, I want to see my career. What, what's cracking here? 2019 
2019-2020 season. We're not in that season anymore. The game thinks it's 2019. It isn't. I'm sorry to tell you. Let's have a scout about. Is everyone still ridiculously young? Yes, they are. Right. Bukayo Saka is still six years old. Good. Oh, good. All right. We can still get amongst preseason. That's lovely to hear. Let's just go. I don't care, really, what trophy we choose. We're allowed. So we're allowed to do preseason in 2008. Well, that's good. Right. Preseason's done. We lost in the semi finals, I assume, on penalties to uh, Athletic Club. But if we look at the rest of the calendar, that is. That's. Well, that's it. That is all for our engagement this season, ladies and gents. There's a lot going on here. On the screen right now, and I don't really know how to describe any of it. For a start, we've got a training injury. Lacazette, what are you even training for, mate? You've not got a game for another 11 years. He's out for nine days with a sprained ankle. Go home. Literally go home, Lacazette, mate. There's no need to be training. Secondly, how in the sweet bejesus is my board rating 109? Literally, the maximum you can have is 100. How have I got 109? I've done nothing. I've done absolutely nothing. How have I reduced wages. I've not bought or sold anyone. So all of the ages have been affected by this and not just for our team, everyone else as well. Lionel Messi is back to being 21, which is a scary thought. Ronaldo is now 23, as he would have been whilst playing for Manchester United. Neymar is 16. Kylian Mbappe is 9. Luka Modric is 22. Dybala's 14. Kroos is 18. Suarez is 21. Lever Lewandowski's 20. Is this going to affect their rating? A player's going to start growing, like, ridiculously? Is Mbappe ever going to grow? Do players even grow at the age of nine? Probably not. Look at my manager rating now. It's 139. Nothing is occurring at this moment in time. What in God's name is Antoine Griezmann's hair? I've had enough. I've... I, th I think I've been recording for about six minutes and I've actually had enough of everything. All the news is manager of the month and it's been me every single time. F for what? I'm not playing any games. 2008's player of the year is between Aubameyang, Falcao, Lacazette and Griezmann. On what basis? There's been no games anywhere. No, why is Griezmann's hair multicolored? I don't... What, what are you doing, mate? He looks like 6'9's lost French cousin. There's still no games. There's still absolutely no games at all. Oh, but we've got a loan offer for Ainsley Maitland-Niles. Well, that's great to hear. Player of the year is Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. He has played zero games since I started this save, but fair play to the geese. Are the other leagues actually happening? No, they're not. It, it, it seems as if the other leagues are just as broken as ours. Inter have signed Mark Noble. Inter Milan have signed Mark... No, nah, this... Right, it's been a pleasure ranting at you all today. Have a great day. This experiment is cancelled. <laughs> Right, it's uh, 2009, my geez. It's a brilliant time to be alive. We've gone through the whole transfer window. Deadline day is done. I've still got players getting injured in training sessions. They really don't need to be at. My scouted players are the correct age. So all of my players that are going to be in my youth academy are going to be older than the players I have in my team. Oh, good. Just uh, gone on to the financial to see that everyone is on ridiculous contracts. Burn Leno, there's got 14 years left on his contract. I mean, what happens when I give them a new contract? I'm gonna, I'm gonna negotiate a new one. Now, if I give him five years, does that add on? Okay, well, he doesn't want five years anyway. I've given him a three-year contract. Does that add an extra three years to what he was on before? Okay, so now his contract's only three years. Brilliant. Right, so we've just removed 11 years from Alex Iwobi's contract. Phenomenal. End of the season. 
citizens arrived, the, the board are happy with our performance, which I think is an understatement given we've got a rating of 107. The tide has turned from the board. Opinions have changed quite quickly from those in power at Arsenal. Oh, it's not minus 60. It's, I think it's minus 604, actually. Judging there, we, yeah, there it is. Danger is an understatement under the circumstances. Worth noting, no one was promoted or relegated from the Premier League, so it is just literally waiting till 2018 happens to start the fixtures up. The board need to make their mind up at the end of the day, because now my manager rating is 791. I love how simming games still works, even though it's technically 2009. My manager rating is minus 11,923. <laughs> I'm genuinely happy sick and tired of this experiment now. I mean, we've been sacked. Do I know why? No. I have I literally got no idea. Hang on. And now the transfer window's back again. How does that happen then? If anyone was wondering about the age of Huddersfield's team, it's similarly ridiculous to the one that we had at Arsenal. Manager of the month was Unai Emery, which is exactly why Unai Emery is not pictured in this news article at all. I think really we're going to end things there. I was hoping that it would start 2008 as if it was a real year and a real season so we'd get all the games and stuff. Unfortunately for us, the leagues are literally going to wait the 10 years to start in 2018. If you've enjoyed this video though, slap a like on it and subscribe if you are new to the channel. Unfortunately, 2008 is as far back as you can go. So I can't go like 20 years into the past or 30 years into the past or anything like that. But it's been a pleasure ranting at you guys today. Have a great day, enjoy yourselves, and goodbye. <laughs>